One of my favorite traditional Finnish dishes is Finnish salmon soup. When I went back to Japan for holidays this year, I made Finnish salmon soup for my Japanese family. I made a video about it and that video got many views and also lots of comments, mostly from Finnish people. And those comments include some tips and advice how to improve the salmon soup or how to make even better salmon soup. So in this video, I'm gonna make Finnish salmon soup again using those advices and tips. Even though my family really liked the salmon soup I made, I think there's still a room for improvement. And as a foreigner living in Finland, I think it's nice to know how to make good salmon soup. So here are some changes. So first of all, so when I made it last time, I used fish soup stock. So it's more like bonito powder to make fish soup stock. And I think it worked really well, but many people say instead of that, I should use whole salmon so that I can use salmon's head, skins and also bones to make fish broth. So I'm going to do that today. And the second point, I'm gonna add dill when boiling the soup already. So of course I put dill on top of the soup after I made it, but some people say I should add the dill when boiling salmon soup already so that it adds even stronger flavor. Then the third point, no carrots. Some people say authentic salmon soup doesn't have the carrots in it. I'm not really sure yet because I actually asked it on Twitter and there are different comments and opinions about it. Some people say, no, no, you don't add carrots in salmon soup. But even some professional chef says, yeah, if you want to, you can actually add carrots. So I suppose there's no one correct answer. Or well, let's say there's no wrong way. But this time, I'm not gonna add carrots. And for vegetables, I will use potatoes, leek, onions, and sweet. In Finnish, it's lantu. So the fourth point is bread. So when I made salmon soup, we had it with normal bread. And of course, and as expected, many people said you should have it with rye bread. But of course, it's hard to find rye bread in Japan, so we replaced it with normal bread. Since I'm not a huge fan of rye bread, so today I'm gonna have salmon soup with 30 slice labor or archipelago bread. And I remember that if you go to this famous traditional cafe in Helsinki called Kappeli, they serve salmon soup with rye bread and peru narieska. So it's like a potato bread. And I love it. <laughs> it's really good. So today I'm gonna try making it as well. Yeah, but anyway, I need to go shopping. It's 8 a.m. and I'm going to market hall. And I'm not really sure what kind of salmon I should get there, but I'm pretty sure they know it really well. Let's go. Okay, I made it to this Hakanimi market hall. Yes, I was seeing the comments I got on my video where I made salmon soup. <laughs> it's really showing that Finns are really proud of salmon soup and it's special for them. Many people say they have some kind of memory linked to salmon soup. Someone said uh, their grandparents made salmon soup at the summer cottage. So I think they have their own recipes. That's why there's no one right recipe in a way. Or well, let's put it this way. There's no wrong way. <laughs> but still, I want to improve my salmon soup. <laughs> Hey, I'm going to take a coconut lohi. Uh, I'm going to take a lohi. I'm going to take a lohi. I'm going to take a lohi. Okay. I'm going to take a lohi. 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 Yeah, my hello, I'm Mio's part. Oh, him part. Okay, say to me. Yeah, wait, for the story store. Okay, okay. Okay, here's. Just hold up, my boy. My boy, Leica. Yo. Oh, that. 
pala filettä ja sitten mä annan sulle pää ja ruoka. Ah, okei, okay, joo, se toimii. Kiitos paljon. Tähän silleen. <laughs> Joo, se on hyvä. Tästä. Joo. Otanko nahan pois sulle? Uh, joo, kiitos. Yeah, so I just saw I got the salmon. But the Norwegian salmon they had was just really huge and it was really fresh. And I was explaining him that I want to make salmon soup with the use of head and bones to make a broth. Then he cut the salmon, the big one for me. And I said I don't need whole fillets and he just sold me the fillet and didn't charge me for the head and bones. Yeah, so now I think I'm ready to go home and start cooking. Okay, so I got the ingredients. I'm excited especially about the salmon head. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now is I first need to make the fish broth. According to some recipe, I need to boil the salmon head and bones with some um, vegetable skins. I think I still need to cut the salmon head a little bit because it's really big. And this part is really tasty. I'm not gonna use this for fish broth. I will grill them later with some salt. Actually, I realized this is the biggest one I have and this is a bit too small. <laughs> but I have to manage with this one. Let's see. It actually smells really good. It smells like salmon already. Hey, okay, thank you. Okay, so the soup is ready. It smells good. And um, this one is kind of sticky, so I'm gonna fry vegetables on this pan and add them here. And while I'm making uh, salmon soup, at the same time I'm making this uh, potato bread or pernariesca as well. It's pretty easy. I'm just gonna need to add some salt flour and egg here and then I need to bake them in the oven. While I'm cooking, I'm writing on Twitter how it's going and it's kind of funny to see how people are like cooking salmon soup because some people say don't boil too much and some people say boil more than one hour out. So I think there's no one right way again. <laughs> I think when it comes to cooking, people are really 
believing that their way is the best to some extent. But you know, <laughs> you can do whatever you want in my opinion. But this time I decided to follow some tips given uh, by my subscribers in YouTube. Let's see how it goes. And as I said, this time I'm adding some dill in the salmon soup already. I'm not sure how much I need. Um, let's see. Um, this too much? Maybe no. Yeah, so I still have these fillet, and this is really fresh, so I will eat them as a sashimi tomorrow. But well, actually tonight <laughs> as well. I will marinate this with soy sauce and sesame oil and put it on rice and put some wasabi. So I added salmon and the point here is I shouldn't boil too much. Maybe a little bit. Okay. And uh, now I need to add the cream. Actually, when I was in the S market, I had no idea what kind of cream I should get. And I asked the lady there, <laughs> then she said I should get this one. You might have different opinion, but I, I trust her, so I'm not gonna add this one in the soup. One recipe says only 100 milliliter, and another recipe says 250 so all of them so I think I can just add pretty much everything hmm Kerumaine Lohike itto looks good This is good. At the same time, this is interesting. Okay, I'll be honest. Um, I think it highly depends on what kind of flavor you like. So um, this time I used salmon head and bones to get the fish broth. And the last time I used this um, bonito powder. And then when I made it with my friends, uh, we used uh, vegetable broth. And I think each of the salmon soup, it, it's slightly different. So this one has really strong salmon flavor because the fish broth is from salmon itself. So if you really like the strong salmon taste, maybe you should do this one. But if you prefer more like a bit milder taste, but still want to taste salmon, then maybe you should use vegetable broth or bonito powder or some other kind of this like a, a fish soup stock or some kind of cube or whatever. I personally like this, but it feels a bit heavy for me still because the salmon flavor is really strong but otherwise I think it's good that I actually tried this and I know now how it tastes but maybe there should be still some like better ways or I might have done something a bit wrong but I'm satisfied
But if I compare this with like other salmon soup which I can have in the restaurant, maybe still those ones are better. This is still not that level. Hmm. I don't know what's the secret. And let's try this Peru Narieska, this potato bread. Let's give the honest feedback. This is maybe 3 out of 5. It's not bad, but um, if I compare this with uh, Peru Narieska, I can have in this Kappeli cafe. Still, that one is much better. I'm not really good at baking in general, so I might have put a bit too much flour or less. Hmm. And this one, Fari Soleswepa. So the archipelago bread, this is my uh, favorite. Hmm. I could warm this up. I didn't this time, but sometimes I put salt and butter on it. It's really good. Yeah, but overall, I'm happy that I tried this. Now I can see there's still a room for improvement. And it's really hard to describe what's missing. <laughs> so the idea of salmon soup is really simple. And the procedure itself is simple, but still it's deep. It's simple but complicated, I would say. If I have some guests coming over, and if the guests ask me to make some kind of Finnish food, then I would maybe make this one. So I want to be able to make really good salmon soup. Anyway, thanks for watching this vlog. And please feel free to comment any criticism, <laughs> feedback, tips, advice, or whatever your thoughts are appreciated. I hope to see you in my next video. Wake up!